I'd like to welcome Deborah. Hi everyone, I'm Deborah. I'm a Zenaba Konto, and I currently live in Africa, Ghana, Africa. And I am a student at Ashesi University. I first heard of DevNet from a teacher of mine. Okay, not really a teacher, more of a mentor called Mr. Peter. I'm sure you know him, so yeah. Peter Onipe, yes! Yes, 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 yes. yes. In Africa. yes. <laughs> Hi, Peter! <Yeah. laughs> and he's the reason why I'm here. I heard of him from a friend and yeah, joined their team and it's been amazing ever since. Oh my goodness, that is a perfect example of the power one person can make around the world. And I'm sure he's inspired you in your studies. What are you studying currently? Yeah. Currently, I'm studying computer engineering at Ashesi University. And he's been helping us a lot, giving us project ideas. And he really believes in us to do great things. And it's been an amazing journey, very inspiring. So coupled with these projects and what I'm doing in school, it's helped me apply what I'm doing in school more in a real life sense. What is your dream job? My dream job is to become a software developer or a software engineer and also a user face, a user face designer. So, sorry, a user interface designer at a company like Cisco <laughs> called in the future. And I really love arts. I'm passionate about arts and programming, coding, anything to do with computer software. So finding a way to merge and combine both of them would be an amazing job for me. We need technology to work together with art, health, really with everything that makes us human because technology is not going to take away our humanity. Technology is going to help us have a more human impact. And, you know, speaking of humans, you mentioned Peter, right? There's the power yeah. uh, of, of a person reaching out to other people. We, we will always need community builders and leaders. And um, speaking of community, you know, since you're a student, you're the perfect person to let us know what do students need? I think students need to be more motivated and inspired and believe in themselves, begin projects, start new ideas, start small, but continue being consistent, persistent, determined, and just build upon them. Because a lot of people have very great ideas, but they are sitting on it because they are scared, they think, they are not good enough or other things. So I believe we should start. Everyone should start. Whatever idea you have, start. And start today. It doesn't matter if it's, you don't think it's a big impact or a big project. Yeah. You don't know who you're going to reach. So Deborah, it's so nice to speak to you. Please say hi to Peter for me and I hope he'll work with you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thanks for being part of this community. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>